and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, everybody. Um, that's all our business on here was to set next meeting date. Now, normally we meet on the first and third Wednesday, is that so? Yep. What we're looking at, so the date would be? March 20th. March 20th. We don't need a motion that, because that's when we normally meet, The normal meet, one, right? yeah. I just figured that would, to get the word out. Okay. So the next meeting day will be a regularly scheduled week of March 20th. Evening. Hey, Peter. Sorry to keep you waiting. My kitchen clock is wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> so it oh, it's five it's national grid. It's five minutes slow, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, we're up to uh, uh, regular business, number item number four. They already started. Yeah. Oh, we Good. did the pledge, and so we just. All right. Well. All right, first item on the agenda is to review, uh, discuss, and act on 757 William Street. There is a, uh, a memo, I guess, if you will, from uh, town administrator regarding 757 Williams. So, can I see a copy of that? You didn't get a copy of that. Terry, could you run a copy of this, please? Yeah, we'll copy this, right? Uh, That's his original site plan approval. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you just were lacking the note of the note from the town administrator. So we had a site plan back in November, right. and we approved it with no conditions. Right. So why are we here now? Because when I went to the selectman, the selectman put conditions, okay. which forced me to come back here. Okay. Three things that she has here that I have to get a building permit to keep it mixed use. This is just what I use to scale it all out. What it looks like now, but it's separate. Where did you get this paper? I signed up. <laughs> it was easy. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking to get a 2,000 square foot building here. The mobile home is going to stay resident. Right now, the mobile home is being used temporarily. It doesn't comply. So to comply, I need to put up a new building. I need to have it handicap accessible for the handicap bathroom. Those are the orders from the town Dyke. The concerns with the neighbors of it being all commercial. That's why we're going to leave the mobile home. So it's mixed use. So we got the residential part, the business part, my house. 
How close is that to your house, Paul? Uh, probably 100 feet. 75 to 100 feet. I'm just curious. So, I'm trying to keep the, the commercial end in between my two residential properties. What are the setbacks? <coughs> the setbacks, this is 80 feet. This from is where? From the center of the road. Okay, That's so from the, from the, the property road. line? Yes. Because you're subdividing that, right? No. It's mixed use. The land's going to stay as one. It's just mixed use. This will be residential. This will be commercial. Do you have the bylaw about mixed use handy, Michelle? Michelle. I'm Michelle. <laughs> Sorry. Gary, Sorry. Gary Michelle. Yeah. George. Michelle is George. an attorney. <laughs> attorney I've been dealing with all day at work. Sorry That's about that. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> hey, you is probably better. Hey, <laughs> so you want the um, yeah, the isn't there, definition, aren't basically? There, well, aren't there percentages of... of uh, <clears throat> Uh, living space to, to business space in, in our uh, bylaw regarding mixed use? I don't believe that there is. Uh, I, I haven't come across that. I don't remember. I'm just thinking of adding two buildings in the same lot. So I'm not adding, I'm adding one. Mobile homes are here. Well, how many square feet is this lot here? The lot is. Uh, Twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand three hundred and ninety-two. So that doesn't meet the a lot meet size. the lot size for a single-family home. No, but this mobile home has been here since nineteen fifties. Yeah, so. Uh, so maybe we need a variance at this point. Well, the the other option I would think is if you were to put that building attached to the mobile home, I think that would be a different story. Yeah, that's I think uh, mixed use requires that the building be half of it is. It's <coughs> not true. I don't know, that's there, why there's plenty in Dyke in that before mixed use even well, came in. We're when not talking about before, we're talking about now. Before it doesn't matter. It's still happening now. I mean, people in business use we, have totally 100% business, put a residence, have a business, and they get taxed misuse. Did this people. happen after the bylaw was enacted? It's still happening. No. After the bylaw was yeah. enacted? Yeah. Okay, so mixed use. And it comes out of me, Peter, is existing structures. Carrie, is it isn't all of William Street business zoning now? Mixed. It's mixed. It's use. only mixed. It's mixed use. Okay. Okay. Part of part of its business. Part of it is business. The northern part, where your building used to be, two hundred. Yes, from yeah. Railway Street to the town line, yeah. where under the sun is. Yeah. Where okay. Horton Street. And just another question too. 
um, the driveway is going to be kind of narrow with the residents Why and the business. What do you mean? I, 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 you know, I go by the... Uh, no, no, I just don't understand what you mean. But the, the driveway, the, the entrance. Right, it's 25 feet wide so that cars coming in, cars coming out, they can pass. Yeah, it looks narrow though. When I drive by and look over there, it looks That's narrow. That's to it. It's 17 feet right now. It's 17 feet? Right now. Yeah, yeah that's narrow. Right. I agree. Right. And yeah, that's why I'm, I'm going to make it 25. Oh, yeah. Now, okay. I don't see a difference between a car coming out of the resident or a car coming out of the business, how it would make a difference. Oh. It's the car going on to the road. What's the scale on this? Uh, this isn't the scale. So this could be 100 feet. It's not the scale. I mean, no. it doesn't, it, this isn't the scale. This just says You're driveway. Right. It's yeah. not 15 feet. It's not 25 feet. Right. It just says driveway. When, when I sent this out to this layout, this is to scale to the building. It's not to scale footage. If you want to go to scale, this is 50 feet. That's 25 feet. You know what I'm saying is the car could be pulling in and pulling out at the same time. Correct. That's why there needs to be a little right. width, that's all. Right. Now I'm just saying it doesn't matter whether it's residential or the business car, a car's car. Right. Right, but I'm saying for safety reasons. Right, no, no, I agree. Yeah. I just saying the reason right. that the car's coming in or out really doesn't matter whether it's coming here or going in. I don't care where they go, but I just exactly. enough as room. long as we get enough room. The way you have this laid out here is what, what are those black lines? This here, this would be the driveway. So the cars can come in, be a little mobile home from park over here. I can come around the building if I want. This would be the parking spots for these cars. Has the fire department looked at this at all? Yes. They've not looked at this plan, they've looked at what's going on right now. Carrie, where is Appendix B? It should be if you go. Which page? No, if you keep. It's 27,000 square feet and change. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So here's a permitted use in a, in a, in a residential mixed use zoning. Okay. A business. Other permitted uses in a residence district. Minimum lot area, 35,000 square feet. So if that's 27,000 square feet, this is a discussion we should have had in, in November, but we're having it now. We weren't talking about putting up any buildings in November. In November we were talking about was not that garage moving the dealership here. Right. And, and then going to the selectmen and everybody being upset about it being totally commercial to go residential. So I'm trying to keep it residential here. Understood. If that's a problem, I can go 4,000 square feet, actually I can go 9,000 square feet, and just put up a large commercial building. The minimum lot area for other permitted uses, such as what you're describing, is 35,000 square feet. Yes. You say that is 27,000 and change? Correct. So no, you can't. This is a lot that's been grandfathered in. It's been grandfathered for the mobile home, but not for a 2,000 square foot building. So I can't put up a 2,000 square foot building? We're going to have to have to have to discuss with town council. I, I don't see how. I think if you put them together, that would work. What? The mobile this home. and this? This it, lot well, is 27. Lot alone and add on that to the mobile home. This lot is 27,000 square feet. Correct. The entire parcel, Correct. not just where you add the no, building. This, this the entire the parcel. parcel. The entire parcel is 27,000 square feet. So no matter what he does on that lot, it's not going to conform. It's it's not going to work because the lot. So if you set. the fact that it's it's in now, but it may be the mobile home. Exists, the mobile home exists. Any additional structure would not be valid. So okay, now now the the move of the dealership has already been approved, <coughs> and I've got conditions from the selectmen of what I need to do. You're saying I can't do it. I don't know. I I think we need to have town council involved. I don't want to approve something that's not allowed. You understand what I'm saying? When did the when did the, you go before the, the selectmen? Uh, in December. In December. Okay. And here it's March. Yes. So, I understand you're under under a deadline, 
but that's not our fault. I can say that well, you I'm won't. just uh, my point is is that, that we need time that you don't have. So what do you say? I'm saying that we're going to have to have to discuss this with town council and, and find out where where it is legally. A 27,000 square foot mixed use doesn't give you the right to put a business on it. It doesn't. On a, I, I've already got the right. I've already got approval from the selectmen to move the dealership here. It is business as we speak today. So when we're talking past tense. It's already here. Now, wait, wait, the 2,000 square foot building is there now? No. The business of North Dayton Garage Incorporated is here. It's registered to this property. It's there. Okay. So it's not coming in. It's, oh, okay. it's, it's, oh, okay. it's already there. Okay. So it's already there. All right. I didn't drive by it today. I looked at it at Google Maps and it was a field. Right. <laughs> and it's still a field. Mobile <laughs> home, field, PCAS. But as far as the business coming into it, it's already there. But the 2,000 square foot building isn't there. Correct. It's not there. So that's where we, I think we need to have a discussion. Well, with that's where the selectmen don't want me to use the mobile home. They're asking me and telling me to put up a new building. Right. So they're well, telling they're me. They're not aware, they're of, not this. aware of that. I'm not that. aware of this. They're aware that the dealership is here. Well, yeah. Okay. And they're aware that they told me in writing that I have to get a building permit. But so you may not be able to get a building permit because it doesn't comply. Well, it's like telling me to sit in a corner in a round room. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you're, you're telling me to go do this. I mean, this is the second time I've been here. Yes, it's March. I've been jumping through hoops all over the place. I've had to move. I would have rather stayed. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is a grandfathered lot. Whether I want to put a house on it or whatever I want to do with it. I'm not looking to waste time. Just because it's not 35,000 square feet, if I wanted to put a, a full house here, I can. They're not going to say, well, it's non-conforming because it's small. This is non-conforming because the size of lot requirement when this lot was divided was not a requirement of 35,000. That happened afterwards. So this was here before. But if you get rid of the mobile home, they'd probably let you build a house there. But I don't think that is the second stage of the plan, which the building inspector has told me has nothing to do with you guys. That, that's residential. Come to him for the building permit. What I'm here tonight is talking about this building. I'm not talking about yeah, the mobile you home. you want both. I already have this, and exactly. And you, I'm then trying you to keep add it. The I'm building to, to it separate I'm, from that one. I'm trying to keep it mixed use. If they like said if you'd rather me put a nine thousand square foot building up here, which I can. Oh, I. I think you want us to cook the cake, and you're going to eat it, and then all of that. No, stuff I'm just asking to go by the guidelines of what I've been told, and all the hoops that I've jumped through. At the very least, we need to speak to the <coughs> building compliance officer, the building inspector. And I've already spoken to the building inspector. I have not I don't have any information to that effect in front of me. I have to speak to the building inspector. Yeah. And I have to find out if what I'm what I suspect about the twenty seven thousand square feet versus thirty five is correct. If he's not sure, then we have to go speak to le legal counsel. I want to get it right. It's what it was. I down do too, to. and yeah. I was under the assumption that that's what we come here for that to is get true. it right. That is not true. Not to go ask the building inspector. I've been back and forth with the building well, inspector. So if we thought we needed the building inspector, why don't we have him on the board? He is also the zoning compliance officer. Correct. And I want his opinion on whether what you are asking for is going to comply with our zoning regulations. Now you say it's grandfathered in, but it's grandfathered in for a, fit, a home. No, it's grandfathered in as a lot, not as a home, okay. as a buildable lot. The build inspector, you call him to have him come in now. He's probably in town hall. He's the one that has told me to come up and, and to show you this. But now you're saying you want to go check with him. Well, I'm saying. Is he aware of the lot size? At the yes, time? he's aware of everything. He's told other people things too that mm. were not I, necessarily I, true. Okay, so then if you go to him for advice, and now it might not necessarily be true. Where does that land? Maybe that that yeah, you don't want to hurt your feelings. That takes me to town no, council. I think he's pretty straight. Well, I think that's where we should go. Yeah, I'm right. Right. I mean, we're going to have to continue this. Okay, can you give me the reason why it's going to be continued? Is it because you guys don't know and you need to get further education? Yes, we need to get further education. Okay, so it's not my problem that. It's not yet. It's not your problem yet. What do you mean yet? Well, if, if when, our when, when will it become my problem that when, you guys are when, not educated about When this? town council tells us that you are not able to put that building there, then it becomes your problem. Okay. And until I know that, I don't, 
I don't feel comfortable. I mean, we don't know everything on this board. I may have a master's degree in public administration. That doesn't mean I know every vagary about zoning, although I deal with it all the time with Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is, is that we have to take everything into consideration. We're not just going to rubber stamp what you want. I'm not asking. I'm telling you that I'm doing what I'm told to do. I've gone to the bill inspector. He's told me this is what you want to do. This is what the selectmen are told me to do. And now I'm here. And now you guys are telling me that you don't know. So I wish that they sent me to a board that knew what I can do. What Excuse I can't me. Do. I wish they sent me to a board. This is the board that you're at. If you want to argue about us being knowledgeable or not, that's within your right. It's within our right to continue this till whenever. Is that what you I want us to do? I make a motion to continue this till to, whenever? Next, to the next meeting or whenever. You want to do whenever? The I next can, meeting. We can do whenever if you like. The next meeting. Well, until we hear back from yeah, legal the council. The next meeting. Yeah. Right. So you'll hear back from legal council before the next meeting? Yes. Okay. Can I have that in writing so I can send it to the select meeting? Because I need to give them a reason why I'm going past. We'll send them an email. You'll send it to them? Carry one. I get a copy of that. Carry copy. According, yeah. CC, according to Mallory, we can give them an extension. Once. Once. Yes. Also, the board of selectmen. I believe. I, I'm yes, not clear sure. either. I read that somewhere. It says right here. Yeah, about an extension. A one time extension. Beyond the applicant's control, and this is absolutely beyond your Correct. control. Correct. So the next meeting is what date? March 20th. Okay, so that is the date that it will be continued. Okay. We'll and grant you that extension. And we... But I'm only granted one extension. What, what, what if I go to the next step and they want to bring it to the council? That's and not our the, problem. Their, our, their council is our council. Okay. So whatever decision town council makes, that's what we look for. If I had to vote up or down on this, I'd vote down right now because it says existing structures. Be, what does it say about existing structures that makes you feel that way? It says the purpose of the mixed use overlay district is to encourage redevelopment, full use of existing structures. Doesn't say anything about new construction, it says existing structures. Okay. I would vote down on it. So you, in your opinion, I should just use the mobile home existing structure for the office? Well, we're also going to require too if we if we attach that to that. Is that an option that would? I I, I fully uh, um, agree that if you were to add on to the existing structure, then they w it, it, the, yeah, the zoning too. would would carry on. I, I think, but to, for you to add and almost separate the entire parcel from one to the other, I I'm not in favor of that at all. Well, so. the re the reason being is <clears throat> to keep the residents near the residents. Renting out a place, I think it'd be quieter and they'd be by themselves rather than being attached to a building well, that's a business. You know, I, I understand that, but it, honestly, and it's not, it's when, when still you, beyond the. When you really come down to it, you get the same amount of square footage, whether you put it here, 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 connect them, or not, don't connect them. Okay, but. That's my opinion. They're the same we'll, amount we'll of. We'll leave it up to. But really, you want to build a house there anyway, because you already said that. No, I'm going to replace the mobile home. With another mobile home? Or? Uh, a home, mobile home or manufactured module home, home, so another home. like that, or I'll rebuild this one. Right. So that's your plan. You don't really want to add on to that if you're gonna. No, I don't want to add on to this because don't. that's a, an old uh, right. mobile home. I want to put up a new structure, like the selectmen have said. They want me to put up a new structure, so I said, okay, I'll put up a new structure. So why don't you build a new structure and get rid of the mobile home and add the living area, to, which is what <coughs> your first plan was, I believe. Because was to build a building. Then it becomes mixed use. No, it's mixed use now. This is this well, you is got mixed. two structures there. That's my problem. There's a lot of two structures on, on around. I'm this sure town. there is. Right. Lots right. of them. Yeah, there's, there's there's lots of them. Now. I'm sure there is. Oh, okay. So now we're debating whether you can have two structures on one piece of property. You can't. You can't go around town and see how many structures. Two residences, there. rather. No, yeah, two residences. I'm not asking for two residences. I have a residence. Mixed use. Residents, commercial. I have a feeling that you want to argue this until the cows come home. And I, 
I'm going to argue it until I get the permits. I am not. And we just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing for the town and for you. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. Okay. That's all well, he's, right. he's, you don't want us to deny no. it tonight, so take the, you know, wait till our next meeting. No, I just want to clear something up. You, you call it arguing. I'm going for my rights. And yes, I'm going to stand up for my rights. Sure. If I don't you, blame if, you. If you want to say arguing until the end, I don't know what you want to say. But it's not going to be tonight. Then it's going to go on an extension till when out? Right? The 20th. March 20th. We, we hope to have some. March 20th, you're March going to make 20th. a decision. So. If that decision is no, then it goes on. So the decision right now is till when out? So. I have one extension. I'm not going to take an extension from now till next week. I'll take an extension from now till whenever the boards get together, decide that it's okay. You'll have an answer March 20th. What's that? You'll have our answer March 20th. I'll have your answer March 20th. And okay. the two things that we're asking town council is, can two buildings be allowed in, in mixed use zoning? <coughs> Non-conforming lot. And, and, and is the... Is the minimum dimensional requirement thirty-five thousand square feet for mixed use zoning? And if and can if it, it was, I think it would be in your book. It is. It is in the book. I just read it to you. Well, new structures. Well, again, we need legal legal advice. Okay. I'm trying. No, I understand. Okay, I will come back here on the twentieth. I'm going to second Joe's motion if it hasn't been seconded yet. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have a, a set of those plans on file here? You can have these if you want. Yes, because uh, that would be helpful. I mean, but I said that it's not sealed. They, this is to scale as far as 25 feet, 50 feet. That's 10 by 40. That's all to scale. It's not to one inch to 20. But if you want to well, calculate well, it. Could you, is. because we have other people here, could you maybe go uh, to one corner of this uh, table here and write in the, the dimensions so that we could show that to our engineer, the legal counsel and stuff, so that we have the right thing? On yeah. That? How about if I print it on there and I'll drop off a print tomorrow with all the dimensions You're, on that's it? That's even better. Perfect. Okay. I'll put all everything on there and I'll drop something off tomorrow. Thank you. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you, Paul, Okay, next item on the agenda. Is uh, to you discuss an act on Tricorp LLC's 2281 Cedar Street site plan. Board Good morning. Okay. Um, okay to sit here? Or? Yeah, yes, please do. I'm John Grenier. Um, I'm a civil engineer. I was uh, hired by Tricor for uh, a building. It's a garage building. I'm sorry. sorry. Well, no, mobile home it? Uh, um, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that'd be um, a better idea. Yeah. What Andy is proposing is a, a his is where we at lens over at lens. Okay. In the back in the field, um, this is the field that this gets mowed, it gets hayed. What he is proposing is a uh, about a 7,400 square foot garage building, an accessory garage to store um, some of his materials, um, garage, you know, some vehicles occasionally. Um, so it's an, just an accessory garage building for the existing use on the property. Um, that's really the long and short of it. Um, he's not proposing uh, any office space, anything that would generate any new vehicles. It's just a, strictly a storage building. There's going to be no bathrooms there. No bathrooms, just a, a really a, a 75 by uh, 99 square foot garage. So 
Section 5460, Minor Site Plan. Applications for permits to build, alter, or expand any non-residential building, structure, or use in any district where such construction will not exceed a total gross floor area of 2,000 square feet or will not generate the need for more than 10 parking spaces shall be deemed a mi minor site plan. Correct. That is a 7,462 square foot garage. Correct. That is not less than... And that's why, but it says or, or will not generate, so it's one or the other. No, it's, it's not one or the other. It, it's, you could have a 1,000 square foot building with 100 parking spaces. And that, that requires major site plan. Correct. And you can have a 7,462 square foot building that requires and no parking spaces. And that requires a major site plan review. That's the way I read it. it, it, it Back it to has the attorneys. To, uh, yeah, I, yeah, because <laughs> the way that it has to meet one criteria or the other. And the criteria that it meets in our opinion, is that it does not generate more than 10 parking spaces. Now, if he wanted to do a 7,462 square foot building and have office space in it that under zoning parking would require yeah, 12 right. parking spaces, yeah, right. he'd be thrown in. Where it's a garage building and it meets the criteria that it doesn't generate 10 parking spaces, so, so it needs to meet one criteria or the other. And we're it's, not going to have any employees there. It's just it's going to be for storage. We're not going to have a bathroom there. We have lights, and we've already been through. Not going to be a work area. No, it's not going to be intended for that at all. And basically, we've already done all the parking for the other two buildings. It's an accessory use. That's why we looked at 5460. It says or will generate the 40. You know, Less than 10 parking spaces, but well, we're not going to need 10 parking spaces. Right. We're not going to need them at all. Yeah. It's, you know, it says old. Plain English doesn't seem plain when you're talking <laughs> about all these regulations. It seems plain to me, but. I yeah, I, I don't know. I mean. Because or means feet from something yeah, else. You know what I mean? It has to meet one well, or the other. Yeah. Yes, and it doesn't mean less than 2,000 square feet. Yeah. No, but, but then it says or. Yes. Jealous. So it, it only needs to meet uh, one of jealous. those criteria. Yeah. It's either that criteria. Oh, 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 so you're reading it in the positive. I'm reading it in the negative. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> no, but if you read it, I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. pretty. So as long as it meets one of these criteria, it's a minor. I don't know. I, 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 I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. But I, I Did you now, read it completely? I read. 5460, I read the whole, the whole yeah. thing in front of me. Yeah, then when you come to the, it's this criteria, or, or if it meets the other criteria, it's a minor. Now, say down the road, he went to, and I'm just throwing this as a, as a practical matter. Say if he went to go say, you know what, I don't have enough office space. I'm gonna go turn this into office space, put a mezzanine in. Well, that change in use would then he would have to go to the building inspector that would throw him into something that was more than 10 parking spaces he'd have to go in for major but where it's just a garage building and he's only meeting and he only needs to meet the criteria that it doesn't need more than 10 parking spaces it would be minor we're not going to hire any more employees for it it's just i don't have a place to put stuff i don't want to leave it all doors I got an old forklift and a man lift and stuff that I want to get out of these buildings and put it over in that. Carrie, you having an opinion? An opinion? Or, or, or okay. any, any uh, uh, other uh, precedents that you can think of? I have not been able to find any other precedents. Um, I did send a copy <coughs> off to our engineer and he questioned the miner. So then, because of the, the square footage. So if our engineer is, is questioning the miner, and I'm questioning the miner, I think that, that unless this board wants to vote on it now and, and not question those things, or, or maybe or, or, or vote it down as a result of the questions, I don't know, then it is my opinion that we should have an attorney tell us so that we're not relying on engineers to read English. 
<laughs> well, we, legal regulations, like, <laughs> let's say. Right. We all can agree it does say or. Well, yes. And if we're not hiring any employees, we're not putting any employees in there, we're not putting bathrooms in there, we're not... It's let's, let's read it differently. Addition for permits to build, alter, or expand any res non-residential building structure or use in any district where such construction will not exceed a total gross floor area of 2,000 square feet, period. There's Same no, words. There's no period. There's well, a comma. <laughs> and it says a comma, and it says or. Okay. A period means it's the end of a sentence. Yeah. Then it says a comma. Or it's a, it's a, will not generate the need for more than 10 parking spaces and shall well, be deemed a minor site. It, it, it's, it's a... It's it, a Clearly says that. It's well, it's clearly something that an attorney needs to tell me that 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 where that you are right or that I mean I'm okay. not, I don't know if you're right. I'm doubtful. All right. Well, yeah. it does say oh, I, I understand. Okay. I understand, and I'm interpreting it. Okay. In the negative, you're interpreting it in the positive. You want it to be interpreted the way you you well, think is correct. Type of person. And I understand that. I, I, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to rewrite the Bible. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to to uh, hold you back in any way, except as it relates to legalities. Okay. And I want this board to do things legally. And and if there's a gray area such as this, it's just a simple matter of getting our attorney to to, to uh, weigh in. Okay. Because cool. I, I did. I had my attorney weigh in. I used to use Mark Anton, I talked to him, he's retired and everything, and he says, yeah, you're correct, it says or, and he says, he, he, you know, so I talked to my lawyer, I guess then you need to talk to your lawyer, I understand. I think that makes the most sense. That's what I wouldn't do unless I talked to my lawyer, because yeah. that's what he did, you know, he's retired now. Did he send you anything in writing? <laughs> he just said he's retired. Okay. He says, I, 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 I said, I'm correct in what I was saying. All right, well. Because I don't want to come do this if I'm incorrect. That's why I talked to him first. Yeah, I, I, I have a lot of respect for him. I understand. He's a real good guy. I know. And yeah, I don't want to do this. He's not only a good guy, he's a very good yeah. was a very good He's a very good lawyer. Yeah. still is. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's done all my work in the past. And yeah. I says, yeah. Could you, I go, am I correct in terms of He said, yes, you're correct. I didn't, I didn't want to get a lawyer. To, I didn't want to go through that. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But just as you wanted to talk to a lawyer to make sure you had it right, I want to okay. talk to a lawyer to make sure you had it right. And okay. just to kind of give you the overall, the, the entire area is surrounded by Arborvitae. So he has, uh, you know, evergreen screening. Any lights that he put on the buildings, we're showing them near the overhead doors. The, he has existing cutoff lights, so it just spills light down. So he'd be using cutoff light fixtures. So, and obviously he's meeting all other zoning uh, yard setbacks required. Rear yard setbacks are 30 feet. He's at I, about seven. Actually, that there's a question there on that far uh, back corner there. Mm -hmm. What is that between the Abavides and the uh, no back? Yeah, right That's there. That's an that. interior lot line. That's so he, oh, I, I own all of He this. owns all of this. Okay, but the question is between the other right the end the corner of the building, how much space is there? And back here? Yes, right. I would say that the fire department is going to want to look at that. If there's He's, ever an issue that they have to get back there, there's got to be If that's the case, here. I can move the fence. I own the land on both sides of right. the fence. Okay. And it's the same zoning. I'm, I'm just bringing so I that, have, out. I just bring that out because that has come up in the past with other buildings. And that okay. seems to be awfully close to the to the Abavite corner, and there's no way that a uh, fire truck could no. get in there and, and get around that. Building. Right. Well, and we could easily change that. That's not. A, that's. Okay. I would not have. What an is issue the distance to the other side? To the to the. I believe from it's, there. It's so that's uh, seventy uh, feet on the back. Seventy. Oh, just about seventy feet. Just yeah. So that should be enough. You, normally, what they require is a thirty foot radius uh, around the building. In the meantime, we'll double check. Okay. Just to make and check sure with the chief. Fine. Fine. And if the chief wants that, I wouldn't have a problem because we own the land on both sides. Okay. You know, we own the whole apostle. Okay. Yeah. Just bringing up another another yeah. issue so that if that becomes uh, then we you know, comes up later on, I don't want you to go. I gotta go back and see those. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna work with you. <laughs> you know, as, as long as it's by the bylaws and it makes sense, and we we can accommodate you, we'll do anything. How soon did you want to get going? As soon as possible. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's so so two weeks, Richard. It's not, well, it's not gonna be the end of the world, though. No. You know, I just gotta get the building on order and stuff like that. 
I don't see a problem with the plan. Again, okay. I just want to make sure that we're going to do it. Right. Right. Understood. I appreciate no, it. It's not. Okay. You own all this land. What's what's the Because I think everybody's leaning to say, and it's a minor, but that's okay. just my opinion. If you want to get <laughs> clarification, yeah, you know, again, we don't want you to do anything that you're not allowed to do. Yeah, and if no, he's, I'm going to do it right. I don't, if, if our attorney says that, yeah, maybe, maybe, then we'll take a vote and we'll figure it out. Okay. But if our attorney is clearly says it requires a major, then that's what it is. We'll, okay. We'll find out. How right. do you think we can get that information? We will ask tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because it would be, how do I say this? Time is a little of the essence. If the lawyer, the legal says, we got to do the full, I'd like to get on the docket for the next week for the full. Right. right. So we'll ask tomorrow and we'll see how quickly we can get it, get an answer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd like to get on the docket. Mm -hmm. And. We were going to do full site, but I just said, you know what, I saw the ore and I talked to Mark and he says, hey, it's ore is an ore, it's two different statements, you know, and he said I was correct, you know, it's his opinion, you know, yeah, what, I mean? yeah. you know what I mean, we all have different opinions, you know, mm -hmm. but I want to do it right, I want to work with you folks. And you'll be setting a precedent. But for the next time, we won't have to deal with it. Right, right. <laughs> I was, I was right. wondering where you're going with it. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're learning. We're, okay. we're, we're a learning president. boy. It will be a clarifying a clarification. circumstance. And what I'll show you, too, I don't know if you have a lot, is right here. Oh, oh, yeah. It's right there. It's all the whole property is mixed use. This is right, right. I got it offline for the night. The mixed use of Cedar Street. So we're talking that lot right here. Right there, see the one. The you're not planning to build a house on there somewhere. <laughs> just a I do not home. want to live just with my boys. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get away. We, we know we can get one cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how do you want to proceed? I think we should uh, make a motion to continue to the next meeting. So I'll move. Second. So you think, do you think I could get. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you both. Advanced notification? Yes. As soon as we find out, we'll we'll let you know. Okay. okay. Do you have my contact information, Karen? I have your and email. you have you have mine too. Yeah, yeah, if you could, I sure. appreciate it. Thank yeah. you, Terry. All right. Terry. Hey, thank you for your yeah. time, yeah. fellow. Right. He actually does. Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank, you. thank, you. thank you very much. Appreciate thank you. you. Yep, we'll see. Okay. Solar bylaw amendment, the next item on the agenda. All right, so the last time we were checking, we were looking into potentially um, amending our solar bylaw to be a little more strict on the, the scenery from the street. Setback. Yeah. The setback yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So I did some research and um, found a couple that are a little more um, strict, so to speak. So if you guys wanted to go over that. So, and I also took the liberty. I know there's been some discussion back and forth about some concerns about some um, the solar farms coming in and clearing land as well, um, as opposed to using what's already open fields. So I didn't know if you wanted to discuss that as well. Are there towns that, mm -hmm. that only allow it in open well, fields? Well, I found two um, that had a Pretty particular, but Fairhaven has a very strict, um, fair, yes, the town of Fairhaven has a very strict bylaw with their solar. Um, and I actually spoke to their town planner today. And in their bylaw, um, it's, they have basically what he called a moratorium. Um, Clear cutting of trees and natural vegetation within five years shall be prohibited from construction, operation, and maintenance of solar prophylactic facility. So basically what happens is if they go into a piece of property that has forestry, because he explained to me a lot of these um, solar companies, what they're doing is they're going to all these properties that are in forestry because it's cheap land, 
and they clear it on the trees. So he's saying what you're seeing in your town coincides with that. And they foresaw that. So when they wrote their bylaw, they made sure they put that in. He said, they haven't fought it. Yeah, there's been a couple solar companies that kind of dispute it. No one's challenged it. Attorney General approved it. So so if um, I go and clear a 20-acre lot, i got to wait five years to put a solar? Yeah, you would have to in. wait five years. So what they do is the town, the Fairhaven, whenever they get a, um, a permit or a uh, application for a permit, the location, they go in and they do the research and see how long, when's the last time that they had cleared, how they, they cut it down or whatnot. So what if they, I've got a wooden 20-acre parcel, I mm -hmm. go before the planning board for a solar array, mm -hmm. it's approved. Now i got to wait five years? You would have to wait five years. Um, so, But typically, huh. he says, what happens is it's a deterrent. So what they do is they say, okay, well, this one needs to be cleared, so we're not gonna consider that one because we'll have to wait five years. So then they move on to the next parcel and find another parcel that's already cleared. So basically that's what he said. It's more of a deterrent so that they're not looking at these forested uh, properties. Um, and they're looking at properties that are already cleared or Fair vacant. Haven. Yeah. Fair Haven. Um, Seems to me that if we had a similar bylaw something along those lines and some landowner had an option of either waiting five years to put a solar system in or subdividing it into 30 buildable lots they go with the 30 buildable lots so it seems like lots. it could be a deterrent on for, one hand on the one solar. hand but for solar, for solar but on the other hand screw the other the development. Yep. Yep. and yeah. solar yeah. is actually better for the town it is better, it is for, better the for the town now he did suggest and i did find another one from another town, yes, and from another town who put a restriction on instead of being a complete non-level, the uh, clearing of natural vegetation shall be limited to 50%. So they limit the amount of forestry that they do or the, the clearing of the land. He said that could probably, because he mentioned the concern that that what you just said he said so what you might want to also consider is maybe putting a limit on the amount that they can do so instead of just um, the way our bylaw is we don't really have anything to control um, clear the clear cutting you could put a simple limit on there he says sometimes the one town I did find which was in Bridgewater they limit only 50% um, of the total site and he said, you know, some towns, he knows of some towns, and he couldn't remember off the top of his head, but there was some one town that was like 25%. You know, he, he said, you could do whatever you wanted. He said, it's definitely something to take a look into. Um, well, in most cases, this town, any solar uh, farm that's ever gone in, there is a substantial amount of wetland. I was just going to say, so, yeah. Yeah. so they just you know, six can't clear the cup, yeah, yeah. Can't can't clear clear cup the wetlands. So. Right. right. Unless they make it uplands. Yeah, that yeah. would have to say 50% of But uplands. do we really want to do that? No. Right. So. No, but no. we're looking for more setbacks. We're looking well, for this one here, where it says we're abutting so. residential uses. It'll be 220 feet from property lines. Well, I like that. Yes. So Plus, the, I, I was just screening. touching upon that part because yeah. I know we were talking about that part. So going back to the original research that I was doing, I did find some um, information what Tom was just talking about was just some of the setbacks, the screening um, from other surrounding towns that they had for consideration. So for do example, a combination of all of them, like all of them, 50 percent cutting, yeah, 200 or whatever we decide for setbacks from residential districts. Correct. Plus. I think the 200, the 250 foot setback. There you're, is you're begging easy. for a subdivision there. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. you are. You are, and and honestly, you're going to cut out a lot of people that have this land that haven't been able to do anything on it for God only knows how long, and now they're trying to, you know, better, and, and we're we're cutting them out of it uh, that way entirely. I uh, don't go retreat lots of. Uh, well, <laughs> if, if if it's yeah. allowed, yeah. 
I mean, a retreat lot, you need 40 feet of frontage. Yeah. In this case here, you don't. You need all you need is 20 feet. 20. Right? So it, it's and there is a lot of those 20 foot 20 foot entrances. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I I, I understand uh, the um, the idea of limiting and the visibility and stuff like that. I mean, I wouldn't want one of those next to my house, mm -hmm. but unless it was my own. <laughs> but <in the> <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to yeah. be honest. <laughs> yeah. You got to take the time and read some of these things. And yeah. So I did like find in. a couple. Um, for the most part, I mean, the ones that I highlighted, as you see, is where I found some more like the real language. Um, other than that, from the surrounding areas, I found basically the general language from what we have or nothing at all. So, um, so for example, like Berkeley, they don't have much of anything for screening. It shows. Yeah, and it, that's it, pretty it obvious. It really shows. Um, so it's either something as open as that or um, pretty much the same thing that we have. Well, the screening I read in these are, are pretty specific. Yeah, like in Rehoboth, yeah. 3.9.5, yes. that's... And, and Rehoboth, I thought, it was a really good one. Um, I thought it was pretty clear cut um, and no room for misinterpretation. Yeah. Which I think, um, really? because I think, even though um, I think ours is, is good um, because you would not to be visible, um, I think it's the way it's worded some, it is a little, um, I'm trying to think of the word, you know, almost like at the discretion of. So something kind of gives you a little leeway, which is fun, is good. I understand the intent of that, um, but I think so it mid rains too. It leaves too much open for the applicant to come in and say, "Well, you know, you you don't have a choice. You're going to see the top corner of that." Or do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. What it says, they take steps to mitigate. Yeah, Reas or reasonable. Um, I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. Uh, reasonable um, efforts. Yeah, reasonable efforts or something yeah, that's, like that. It, we want to get as much gray out of these things as exactly. possible. Exactly. Like a little word like or. Yeah. Yeah. Gray. <laughs> yes, exa exactly. <laughs> right? So. Boy, I felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that was around with it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we hope it's set back to 75 feet from the front, 50 from the mm -hmm. side. And rear of the yards. That's pretty short distance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I haven't done a lot of driving driving around, but I don't I don't even know if the Hobbit has any solar. They do. Do they? They do. Uh, I know that uh, they've had some approved. Okay. But you don't see them because of the Because their of that, you know? right. Which was another reason that prompted me yeah. um, to this to theirs. Um, See, it's funny, this one says, screening from view by a person standing at ground level from adjacent streets and properties. That's not the... I know. Mm. Especially if it's a 4-4 four -four person. Yeah. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> sure, a midget, they're all set. <laughs> no, it's going to be higher. Can't than say that word. Um, um, this, no. this is a little person. A large scale ground level solar voltaic facility including all accessory structures and up between the shelf visual screens so as the visible abutting streets and properties. So our wording but it does is, not say anything yeah. about the structures. Mm. Okay, so that's if you go on to read, it does. Um, it does say structures. It does structures just later on. I just view. didn't highlight the oh, whole oh, thing. Okay. And or join a cluster right, to right. avoid oh, adverse visual impacts. 
So in our current bylaw, it says the abutting property shall be visibly screened to mitigate impacts to the abutting property. Right. So, so we want to get mitigate out of there. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. want it to. So yeah, you're mitigating it, and the intent there is so that the neighbors are not being impacted by it. But Fair I Haven think is a special. Yeah, Fairhaven or Rehoboth? I think Rehoboth was Rehoboth was the one that I liked. At thing? least uh, shall be screened from the view of persons not on the parcel. But let's change the setbacks a little better for us. We have it at fifty feet now, right? Yeah. Side is fifty. Side is fifty. The front is at least seventy-five from the roadway, right? From the roadway right of way center line. Oh, that's that becomes that's, fifty feet. Yeah, that exactly. from the property line. From the property line, exactly. Right. So I think that something um, take out center of the roadway and make it property line. Mm -hmm. Or I would, I would then make it a hundred. Make it at least a hundred. What is it? A hundred. What's a hundred? It's plus it. screening. Maybe a hundred all around. Yeah. All four sides plus plus. 3.9.5 of the Robus bylaw. The sides, why, why the sides? 100 feet. So I'm easier to screen. Mm -hmm. Right now it's 50. The neighbor at the Arujo's plan was unhappy with 150. I don't think it would matter what we did. There. Yeah, I know, but my point is that, that uh, most of the other people were satisfied with 150, and I think it's 100 for the were the, the minimum, then we could negotiate to 200, perhaps, or maybe right. we, or or negotiating a larger setback wouldn't be as critical a part of the equation. We spent how many hours oh, discussing yeah. how much more we could increase the setbacks on it? And if we just made it 100, then the argument almost goes away. 100 plus Rehoboth screening subsection would seem to me to be be enough. It won't be enough because we're still gonna have <laughs> still people. Gonna yeah, have, yeah, you're yes. always gonna right. be happy. Yeah. yeah. And we don't even know that the the, the town meeting is going to approve it. For all we know, all the people that are solar array wannabes are gonna show up and vote it down. Vote it down. <laughs> yeah. Unless there happens to be a subdivision, a, a solar array before us around that time that stirs up a lot of controversy, and all the all the neighbors come to to vent at town meeting, so it, you know it could go either way. Right. Could we put something a stipulation there that from the road and from any home be the hundred feet plus the screen or whatever, but the sides if it's just a body a buddy. Uh, locked land or whatever, we should have the opportunity we to wave it. To yeah. wave that. Yeah. Uh, like Arujo's had two lots, and they had to put the they had to put the uh, uh, setbacks on both those lots, and it equaled 100 feet. So that's how we got the 150 foot setback on the side because we waived that whole setback requirement for for the two separate lots. I just don't want to make it. A hundred percent. I think we should have the right to waive certain things. Yeah, that on should there. be part of it. That should uh, be part of it. I, I, I would like the, that. The reasoning behind it makes sense. Yeah, it's a special permit, so you can put that condition on, and it could leads to we can write it in too. Right. All I'm thinking is, if somebody owns a parcel of land that's a thousand feet long, you take fifty feet of that times a thousand. That's a lot of land. Yeah. That's a lot of money that these the, the <coughs> person could be right making that off idea. of that and and because that stipulation is there we've taken that all away from them right. for no reason at all yeah, that's true yeah, I mean, what do you can say with you, you, you i think you've got something that no no not I think as far as the waivers it looks like you already have that i'm thinking yeah. something else joe yeah oh, we, have the, we already have the ability to waive, yeah. waive it. Notwithstanding the aforementioned setback requirements, the planning board, as appropriate, shall have the authority to waive setback requirements based on site-specific conditions. Okay. And only right. after so review. So we have that already. So, so you have good. that. Which is um, what we did at the roof. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, you could say something like uh, 100 feet from the 
residential zone, but then add uh, 250 feet from an occupied residence within that zone. Mm -hmm. So they can come down and they'll have to allow X amount of space on the side of the occupied residence. I that, like, oh, sorry. You know, that way there, somebody, you know, uh, that we recently uh, was concerned about the visibility, mm -hmm. we just yeah. cut around this house. And it would be X amount of feet away, so that's a thought. I just like the idea that we, looking at plans, will have the, uh, what's the word, the uh, flexibility, flexibility to, to actually decide on, at that time, what to wave and what not to wave and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's what, where common sense comes to play. And um, yeah. I, I, I'd like to see it that can be done. Okay, that's your homework for next meeting to come up with yeah, okay. well, it's already in the, already in the class. Yeah, the setbacks are all right. <laughs> the waivers of swept set setbacks are um, already in there. Like if Joe Smith owns 100 acres, 250 acre parcels, and he wants to put a solar system on one of the 50 acre parcels, he should be able to go closer than, than the setback, whatever it is, to his own property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's only going to impact him. Right. So his neighbor is Country Hill Drive, or perhaps maybe Country Hill Drive would prefer a solar array than a 40B. You yeah. better believe it. That ain't going to happen. They already got a plan, Joe. Oh, I know. Mm. I know. Yeah. By the state plan. Mm. Mm. So well, it was a little surprising to see that too. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, if you could uh, maybe narrow it down to some language. To some language for a proposed. Um, proposed. Um, yeah. Okay. Based on what we discussed. Okay. So it looks like maybe we'll just do a an amendment. Now, what amendment about amendment for the setback, or and do you want me to add a screening section? I think that 3.9.5 is a separate section. Mm, that's so what I'm thinking. You might want to, I don't know if we can crib the whole thing Somehow or if we need to and, paraphrase yeah. it. Or <laughs> yeah, well, I'd like to incorporate G on bridge walls. Not use D, but Jesus, all structures including but not limited to equipment, shelters, storage facilities, mm -hmm. transformers, and substations shall be screened. maybe not architecturally compatible with each other. I don't know okay. about that, but shall be screened from the view of persons not on the parcel. Okay. That was an issue with uh, with uh, Pine Street because they didn't want to see or hear that. Yeah, the, um, the, uh, what the hell you call it there? They didn't want to hear the transformers. Transformers. The yeah. Inverters. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And, uh, public here for input. Is there any nope. correspondence that needs public discussion? So we have a bunch of signatures. The other thing that uh, I wanted to bring up is what is happening with the pumpkin farm with the solar oak? The butternut squash farm? Yeah, thank you. I have not heard anything yet. Um, I've gotten a couple phone calls about our filing procedure and, you know, the time frame. He was looking to do March 20th, but I didn't receive 
the application, so he didn't meet that deadline. Right. Um, and Carrie, just as a note, I'm not going to be here the first two weeks of April. Okay. April's meeting, Thank I will not you. be here. Um, um, you need everybody's signature on this one? Yes, please. So I do. Not, I have not received anything. I, like I said, I received a couple um, in court leaves. But Did you find any other town that's had one of these? No, and actually, I even spoke to Fairhaven when I was talking at length with him. Um, and he said, that's really interesting. As soon as you get that, can you send me some of that information? Because I've never heard of such a thing. So <laughs> There is a town that, that was, I forget which town, I read it in the paper. They have figured out a way to put solar panels above cranberry bogs. Norton. Norton, that's right. It was Norton. And so that's probably similar to the squash. It's Washington. similar. It is similar. It's a little bit different because um, mm -hmm. I tried to get some information on that as well. Um, so I've been keeping my eyes and ears open on that one. Um, so my issue is you can't see it from the road. Yes. Um, the one in yeah. Norton, you will be able to. But they have different you go down to the and they have a different yeah, regulation. Yeah. Um, so. And you would think that they're going to have to set these things a minimum 10, 12 feet off the, off the ground. I don't know. I don't know. Right. So it's it's underneath the panel. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I have an umbrella 20 feet off the ground, there's a certain amount of it that is <laughs> they're still going to be shaded. So if I have a whole field of umbrellas, whether they're 20 feet off the ground or, or 5 feet off the ground, if they're butted up to each other like a solar panel, they're still creating shade. So, yeah, really, yeah, but the 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 not going to get it's required required sunlight. Sunlight. It's, I don't If it grows in the shade, that's the answer. Yeah. 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 It's one of those things. It grows in rocks. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Butternut squash? Butternut yeah. squash or cranberry? Butternut squash. Butternut squash. Yeah, yeah there's been times I've grown a sidewalk. <laughs> well. So I did have a couple questions for you. Was at our next meeting we have um, the continuance of those two site plans, but we also have the public hearing for those three proposed retreat lots for Shaw. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to you about that okay. or Tom. If you remember a while back, Mr. Shaw appeared with Maple Swamp Road and Oak Street. He wanted to do a bunch of formays as mm -hmm. well as yeah. a couple. He submitted formays and uh, retreat lots. Okay. So he's having a public hearing at our next meeting. Um, we also um, so to finish that one, the question is do you want council present for that and do you want the engineer to review those? I think we should have the engineer review. Yeah, definitely. I don't know that we need counsel, though. Okay. Well, um, there is one of one or two of those. There was a question as to how much upland they had there. So I think by Peter reviewing it, that should, that it. That, yeah. that will cover that because that well, looks like the wetlands are way too it close. Would, it would, mm. We can subdivide. Lots that are totally unbuildable because of wetlands. It really is not our purview, but we, st I mean, yeah, but we have to, to make sure that it's written not buildable. Uh, because if we, if it's not, if we don't have that on the plan, they can sell the lot the following day and mm -hmm. done with. Oh yeah, most of the time we put this plan does not con does not. Conform to do conformity to building or whatever the words are. Yeah. So yeah, I'd rather have Peter do. Absolutely. Okay. I will make sure he does that. He's, he's he has to pay a thousand dollars for each retreat lot, correct? For the project review. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So I'm going to make sure lot, I let him know. Each retreat lot is a thousand dollars. That's wow. why we're not going to. Mm -hmm. Well, you, know, you have the plans for that. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yes, I have them. They're right over there. So, um, the other question I, I have mean, is, I, I, I'm sorry, nope, I, go I, ahead. I saw the plans and uh, I, I wasn't comfortable with them at all. Maybe mm -hmm. Peter will be mm -hmm. much more comfortable with yeah, it. I saw them on my laptop. I, they yeah. look too, uh, 
There's a lot of They look too inviting. That's a good way to put it. You know, so I... So you, as long as you guys agree, because I don't, I yeah, don't like they were, the they were a little suspect. Having people spend money for no reason at all, but I mean, in this case here, it looks awfully tight. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, if it were one retreat lock, that would be one thing. And we'd just look at it, and we wouldn't need Peter probably. Right, right. But it's a bunch of retreat lots and wetlands, and for all I know, vernal pools, and, yeah. and there's calculations of uplands versus wetlands, and there's too much involved for us. I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Well, I know about this. So okay. I looked at it today. Okay. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, it meets our dimensional requirements, but I would, if we voted to approve, it would probably be with a condition that, it, well, just because we signed it doesn't mean it's a buildable lot. Yeah. We were just talking, yeah. Period. And we still may make that determination after Peter reviews it. Yeah. At least on the 4 A ones. There was one of those lots that was a 4 A that. Goes kind way of at an back. angle yeah. and look like yeah. all wetlands. I didn't look real closely. So yeah. maybe there's a couple of problems. <coughs> yeah. That we probably shouldn't be, you know, discussing. Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. So the other uh, question I had was we received the subdivision plan for the Arujos, if you remember that one. They came to us about a year ago. It's one where we waived the subdivision, we waived the fee, subdivision fee because they had already submitted. Oh, okay, it was yep. just yep. a matter of misplaced yeah. paperwork or, or deceased surveyors. Or it yeah, a whole there was host a whole, of issues. They had to get a ZBA variance, and then they didn't finish the whole right. process. So we have them scheduled for a public hearing on April third. And my question is, do you want council here present for that one? Um. Did he send out letters to the abutters? That I'm getting that ready for. Uh, Hasn't gone out yet right, because so it doesn't go into the paper until, so they're coming uh, in on the 3rd. So I'm, that I was just wondering on because I got a call today from a resident asking me about yeah. that. Those notices will go out on March 19th and it'll yeah. be published in the paper on the 19th. Okay. Of March. Well, words out anyway, because somebody called. I got it. I, I found out today that the plan we're going to ask to be looking at to approve is not the plan that the CBA originally approved. Oh boy. Back okay. So this is a problem. Let's have town council. Okay, I will have council here. Um, I'm on the fence until you just said. There's going to be residents well, here too. Yes. We had a stormwater meeting today and okay. we discussed that particular plan. Okay. And there's issues. And Peter's there's taken a preliminary look at it as well because he received his copy from the applicant and he's like, this is, there's three sheets, it, it doesn't make sense. And he said, I've been kind of back and forth with the engineer. And I told, gave them a list I was Who's anticipating. Oh, you would ask me that. Otis Dyer's office. Um, so I had given them a packet and I was anticipating the form M which is a list of waivers anticipating a bunch of waivers because it's you know two lots and it's not a full-blown subdivision and that came back blank <laughs> I'm like okay so and they really wanted to get the ball moving and I said well this isn't still really isn't you're still not there yet in the subdivision part and I it's kind of a form A yeah so you're not really looking for a full subdivision plans right. um, so we just went ahead went ahead and scheduled the hearing you know we'll just have to go well, well, Peter said, in Florida. <laughs> yeah Peter said what he's gonna do is he's gonna review it and he's gonna come up with a long list of things that they need to update and, and submit Prior to the opening of the hearing and stuff, so at least they can have somewhat. I think conservation is really going to weigh in on this one too. Yes, so we're going to have council here. There's a number of issues. Yeah, so that's it. And on I that. think the driveway is not big enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Although it says 40, I think it's. Let's see, one eleven, eighteen and a half feet. So, good question. What's the legality as far as stuff? Let's go. Can't read them. Yeah. Well, we're in preliminary and vague terms. We're not. But we 
probably should end it. Yeah. Yeah. So Make a motion to adjourn. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Minutes. Approve minutes. Joe, you know that's my job. <laughs> Would anyone like to make a motion to approve the minutes from February 20th? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And lastly? Joseph. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night, Cable.